my friends, and welcome back to Fallout 2. At the end of our last video, we did arrive into New Reno, and, well, my car was stolen, so I have reloaded to a previous save where it wasn't stolen, but I feel like it's probably gonna happen at some point, <laughs> but I'm gonna worry about that then, whenever it does happen again. But in the meantime, we're gonna talk to all of the fine, upstanding citizens that are currently in New Reno, the biggest little city in the world. Okay, so we've got this guy right here, Jules. Let's start with him. Smiles displaying a gleaming gold tooth. His cologne is so strong, it almost chokes you. Welcome to the glittering city of Nerino, my sister. And, and, and you are? Name's Jules, and may I say I have never seen a more beautiful woman stride down the streets until this moment. It'd be my pleasure to give you a tour of Reno and set you up with whatever you're looking for. Really? You know, I, I have I have a long laundry list of things I probably need to do here. All right, how can you help me? Hey, look, Jules, is it? You obviously expect something out of this conversation, so level with me up front. What are you looking for? Well, let's try it. Jules' smile dies. I'm looking for people like you coming into Reno. This is the prime spot to deal. Plus, certain establishments pay me to point newcomers their way. That a good enough answer for you? Y yes. <laughs> I've already made someone angry after being here for like two seconds. Oh, look, he has Jet on him. How wonderful. Well, let's ask some other questions. Anything you need. Jules is the man, my sweet sister. If you need to fly, get high, slide down low, Jules knows where to go. Question is, I got the treasure, so what's your pleasure? Oh, dear. Can you tell me a little bit about New Reno? Can Jules tell you about New Reno? Hell yes. First thing you should know, Reno's ruled by four families. Ordinos, the Salvatores, the Bishops, and the Wrights. Each of them get a slice of the Reno pie. Well, tell me about the families. Well, now, another thing you got to know about New Reno is nothing's for free. If it is, ex examine the merchandise. There we go. Hmm. Well, we'll pay him 100 chips. 100 I thought it, we weren't doing caps. Am I carrying around chips now? I thought it was dot. You know what? It's fine. Jules pockets the chips so quickly you swear they vanished. So which of the fine families interests you today? Uh, well, the Mordino family. Holds up two fingers. The Mordinos are a two-headed beast friend, and each head's named Jesus Mordino. Go on. There's the father, Big Jesus Mordino, and the son, Little Jesus. And both are the meanest sons of bitches you ever met. Used to be slaves here, but they turned the tables years ago and carved out their own little empire. How, how big is their empire? They own the Desperado just down the street. Can't miss it. They also got the biggest supply of jet in all of New Reno. So if you got the urge to fly. Speaking of which, do you know where I can get some chems? Yeah, how come the Mordinos have the biggest supply of jet? They're on top of the pile, friend. Ain't no more reason than that. They've got the factory, the maker, and the distribution. They're like a whole goddamn airline. They got so much jet. What factory? Got factories all over New Reno cranking out that shit day and night. That's why they can buy all the jet you need. Most anywhere. Bars, casino, on the street, and of course, from me. Um, back to Mordinos and Jet. What maker? Yeah, leans in. See, the Mordinos got themselves a little gold mine by the name of Myron. Hit the jackpot with him, see? He made Jet. Um, enough about the Mordinos... How extensive is their distribution network? They pump it all over New Reno for starters, up north to the den and also uh, catches himself then shrugs and continues. Well, it's also making its way to Redding nowadays too, which don't hurt the Mordinos purse none. Tell me about Redding. Not much to say. Mining town northwest of here, word is Mordino wants to get some influence there, get some of that Redding gold they dug up. So he ships them jet. They ship back gold. Everybody's happy. Yeah, I kind of messed that up, didn't I? Hmm. All right, other families. Oh, I got to pay. It's fine. I've got the money. The Salvatore family. Quiet bunch. They're led by Louis Salvatore, an original gangster getting on in years. Their territory is on the west side. Their cribs, this bar called Salvatore's on 2nd Street. Don't be making any trouble there. Well, why not? Some free advice. You see a Salvatore, keep your head down and mouth shut or they'll cut you in two. They got the best firepower the side of CA. 
like California, CA. So nobody with any kind of sense fucks with them, understood? What kind of firepower do the Salvators have? Pistols, except they shoot light. Now Reno's a city of lights, but the light those pistols shine could cut a man in two. Swoop. Jules makes slicing motion. Makes a clean burn between the two halves it does. Oh, really? Are these perhaps laser pistols? They shoot light. Do they call the pistols laser pistols? I'll be sure to be careful then. Let's ask the first one. Well, uh, I don't really know. I ain't sure what you're talking about. But take my word for it. Don't go asking the Salvators about those pistols. They have this twitchy habit of killing people who are curious. Do they always have these pistols? They didn't always have them. I'll say to be in charge of Nerino, all of Nerino. As it stands, they're just building up quietly. Those pistols showed up maybe a few months back around time of the massacre. Massacre? Oh yeah, two Salvatore boys with those pistols killed a bunch of bishops men then shot down some of Mordino's boys who'd been trying to muscle in on the west side. Since then, the other families steered clear of the Salvatores. Yeah, any idea where they're getting those pistols from? No idea, friend, and I ain't asking, and you shouldn't either. Take my advice. You look for weapons, there's other safer places you can try. Oh, really? Like where? You want, you want weapons? You go see my man Eldridge on the West End. He got shit that'll kill people you ain't even met yet. Tell him I sent you. Um. Uh, live about New Reno. Okay, the families. So we want to ask about the Bishop family. Ha! John Bishop. Not much to say. Bishop's a smart one, tough, and he's looking to get it all. Where's his territory? He hangs out at the Shark Club up on 2nd Street. He's surrounded by guards, so don't go paying a visit unless you got real business with him. Smiles evilly. And keep your business away from his wife and his daughter. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure we're fine. Well, maybe so, but what you got twing your legs don't matter. To Mrs. Bishop, at least. She swings like a saloon door. Thanks. I. Okay. Wright family. The Wrights, huh? The Wrights are the only family who are family. The other families see they got mercs and tumbleweeds for muscle, but the Wright family is the Wright family, understand? So their family, how many of them are there? Almost 20 or more true-blooded rights mean as spit in each of them uglier than the next. What do the rights control in New Reno? They ain't got no casino. They mostly deal in alcohol and sell it to the other family. So if you're looking for a hooch, or looking for a hooch, not a hooch, <laughs> they hang out on the east side of town in a big mansion. Um, yeah, so what about the law in New Reno? Ain't no law, ain't no police, ain't no sheriff, ain't no government body, just the families. Well, who keeps order in Reno then? The families keep things running smooth. They don't like trouble in Reno because it hurts the tourist trade. And that means less money for them. Don't make trouble and cover your bets. You'll stay off Golgotha. You'll stay off Golgotha. What's a Golgotha? Yeah, this graveyard outside of town is where they put debtors and people who've crossed the families. They just string them up on posts and let him die slow in the sun? Not my choice of dying stinks like hell out there. Ugh. Interesting. See, I had some, okay. Um, other questions? Okay. So where can I get some chems? My sweet sister, you need look no further than humble Jules himself. I got it all. And if I ain't got it, you don't want it. Shall we get down to business? Um, what kind of chems can I get in New Reno? All kinds of shit. I got shit make you horny, make you wet, dry you out, calm you down, sex you up, make you happy, make you strong, make you smart. And of course, I got the shit that I'll let you fly, Jet. So where does Jet come from? Has it always been around? Well, uh, Jet comes from here. Reno, I mean. It ain't been around long, but it's in demand. Know what I'm saying? Winks. Number one reason we get tourists like yourself. But why did Jet come from here? Uh, now, see, Family Mordino struck the jackpot one day when they found this little brainiac called Myron. Seems he's a natural when it comes to making camps. He made Jet. Where can I find this guy? Leans in. Now, I don't want to go on about less pleasant New Reno sites, but there's this building, the stables north of town, heavily guarded by the Mordino family. That's where Myron is. Stables outside of town, you say? Okay. Yeah, Mordinos keep all... Keep old golden boy there. Give him chips, 
whores, anything he wants as long as he makes chems. Jet was his finest. Ain't seen anything so habit forming in a long time. Turned Arena around, it did. Think I could meet this Myron? Jules stops and studies you, his eyes running up and down your body. Jules, hello. I asked if there was any way I could meet Myron. Well, now you might be able to see him. Thing is, the Mordinos catch wind of it. They'll gut you and let you die on Golgotha. Uh, why would I be able to see him? Because you're a girl, Jane. Keep up. Leers. Cuz, honey, you look good. And Myron likes women that look good. Boy's like a rabbit and is always looking for a new cabbage patch. Ugh. Okay, thanks. I have other questions, please. Okay, where can I buy some heavy firepower? I hear you, sister. I hear you. You want the best. You go see my man Eldridge on the West End. You got shit that'll kill people you haven't met yet. Okay, yes. Supplies. You need some supplies? Well, you can go see Renesco up on the West End, but the, here's the catch. Don't buy no chems for him because they ain't safe. He's got supplies, all right, but if you want chems, talk to me. Okay. I want to get laid. <laughs> Smiles, holds out arms. Look no further, my sweet sister. Jules is at your command. No, thanks. I'm looking for a place called Vault 13. You mean Vault City, don't you? That's to the northeast. Can't miss it. All the caravan trails lead right to it. I'm looking for a gek. A garden of what? That's some kind of chem? What does this garden thing do? Get you high? No, it. never mind. And he didn't have anything worth... Yeah, that's right. He just had chems. Well, Jules, you were a font of information. Like a lot. Okay. Let's save after all that. Uh, we'll save here. I'm sure it'll be fine. I see Cody. The child glares at you sullenly as you approach. You can barely see his face beneath all the dirt. On the remains of his shirt is scribbled Cody. Hey, Cody, you alright? You want something to eat, maybe? Are you thirsty? Where are your parents? Just ask if you want some food. He continues to stare at me. Hey, Cody, want some powerful methamphetamines? You could catch and eat your own game? Other children, even? <laughs> Maybe next time, then, Cody's eyes get wide and he runs away. Um. <laughs> this game is crazy. I see Shib. Give us an offer on our prime selection of booty. It's a booty blowout. Cat's paw sign. I see a prostitute. That's, I'm like, is that your pimp? Okay, let's, um, I want to go in the casino. Um, let's go in the casino first. A pimp, a prostitute, your friend with the bone in his nose. Great gimmick. These guys are huge. I ain't looking for no tribal ass right now, right now, get. Inside, inside, stupid tribals. <laughs> Reno, something busters. Oh, okay. A dealer, a dealer for, um, oh. How do we get in here? All right, let's save. Hello. Tribal trash. Okay, well, you're awful nice. Oh, stay away from there? Well, yeah. I should probably not rob from the gangsters. They might get a wee bit angry at me. You're not doing so well. I gave you some chems. 62 of 90. I Can I like I healed him for 8 hit points. Are you okay now? Like are we good? All right. Mordino's men Little Jesus Mordino, the bartender. Um, hmm. 
All right, let's try talking to little Jesus first. Huh? Something you want, Chica? Well, who are you? Me, if you gotta ask, heh, name's Jesus, Jesus Mordino, same as my dad, he's the big Jesus, head of the whole Mordino family here in Reno. So most call me little Jesus, prevents confusion, you know? Yeah, I, I, I guess. Um, I've heard about your family, I hear you guys are a force to be reckoned with. I'm looking for a job as family Mordino hiring. Know what there is to do around in Reno to relax? Um... Let's try there. So you want to relax, Chica? Hey, then how about you and me get down to some sweet love? Ugh. Tempting, but I have got I haven't got ten seconds for your sweet love right now, little Hazy. <laughs> I, I'm flattered, but um, I had some other questions. Yeah, what was it you were saying about the Mordino family? We Mordinos are gonna run New Reno and Redding too. You'll see. Sounds like the Mordino family is the one to hook up with. Can you set me up? What do you mean about Redding? You Mordinos talk big, but got small cojones. What you got to say about that little Jesus? <laughs> what do you mean about Redding? Bunch of no-neck miners dig in dirt, but they like to fly. Know what I'm saying? Not, not really. What do you mean? <laughs> them no-necks dig for gold. See, but what we give them all is better than gold. Know what I'm saying? They give us all the gold they dig up just for a little jet. Everybody happy. So they're a bunch of drug addicts. It's it sure seemed like it. Well, when they got their first taste of Jet, they were they were. You, you can't just have one. Where does Jet come from? The Jet, it comes from here. See, we don't dig for gold, we make it. Liquid gold. Jet. Worth a fortune to the miners. Cost next to nothing to make. We ship it to Reading. They shoot up, they fly, they ship us the gold. That simple. How long has this been going on? It seems like you would have control of all of Northern California by now if Jet was that addictive. You're right about that. See, we didn't always have Jet, but we stumbled across this kid. He took a look at the shitty drugs we were selling and said he could do better. And he did. Now he works for us. That's simple. Who is this kid and where is he? Kid's name is Myron. As for where he is, that's something you don't need to know. Um, other questions? Hmm. What well, sounds like more Gino family is the one to hook up with. Can you set me up? Oh, we can try. We ain't hiring, but with a bod like that, you might try the Corsican Brothers studio up the street, grins, but if you're looking for some quick chips, my room is upstairs. I'd rather not things I have some... Ugh. Hmm. I'm, I'm surprised I can't, um... Huh. You Mordinos talk big, but you got small cojones. What do you got to say about that, little Jesus? Let's try it. Fuck you. Get out of my family's casino before I carve initials in your dead body. Just try it and see what happens, little Jesus. Um, don't you threaten me. Oh, we're going to fight? We're going to fight. All right. I'll reload. <laughs> okay. I kind of wanted to try to work for these guys because aren't they the ones with the laser pistols? Hmm. I'm looking for a job. Is family Mordino hiding? No, let's go with the... Mm. Is the one to hook up with? Uh, oh, I bet it would be quick. No, thanks. Mm. All right, let me get through all this dialogue real quick. All right, through all my dialogue with... Little Jesus. Get. Okay, let's talk to the bartender. Uh, what's your poison, darling? What's on tap? Hmm. Do I need some... How much booze do I have? Because I needed... 10 of each. Alright, we need... 4 of these. And then I've got 10 of those. Perfect. I finally have enough. Oh, I need... My money's all the way down here. All the way down there. Okay, let's trade offer. I can't carry that. Oh, you rrrg. Okay, end. Um, Vic, can we trade? <laughs> um, here, how about you hold some guns for me? Uh, no, that one, and that one, and that one, and... And that one. 
yeah, trade. That's too much for him to carry. Awesome. Trade. Talk. That's it for now. Inventory. Well, I have enough space for beer again, at least. It's on tap. Let's try this again. <laughs> All right, four of those. And then it's literally worth nothing. Well, let me just get it out of my bag anyway. It's so sad. And then $80, $80 or chips or whatever they are offer. Okay, talk. I wanted to, there was other things to talk to you about, sir. Um, who's the guy at the bar with the knife? That's Jesus' little boy, little Jesus. Him and that knife are like close friends. I've seen him do some wicked things with it. Anyway, what can I, what can I set you? Anyways, can I get you something, friend? No, that's, that's the words. I don't want to buy drugs from these people. So it seems like little Jesus does not want to hire me because I'm a girl. I ain't got the time for you right now. Okay, well, can I go in here and talk to people then? Get out of here, Mordino's men. Can I rest here? Because as much as I love the ambiance of it being, you know, the five o'clock in the morning, I'd like to wait until actual morning so I can see things a little bit better. There we go. Are these people like blow puta? They're not very nice. Casino patron, I am so money. <laughs> guys are so mean. Are all my chips gone already? Who is this fellow? No, I ain't gonna give you any jet no matter how much you beg, get. I uh, don't want any of your jet, I am fine. Well, let's go and invade the bathroom. <laughs> Hi, you looking for jet, let's talk. Um, can we barter? You, you literally only have jet. No, I, I don't I don't want any of you guys' drugs, okay? I'm good, I, I don't want anything, thanks. Especially when you're dealing in the bathroom. Ugh. So unsanitary. He is like leaning over. You see Renesco? Tell him I'll give him the money tomorrow. I want to find Big Jesus. Is he upstairs, maybe? There we go. That's how we use it. Big Jesus Mordino. All right. Let's save. A hyperactive junkie. That must have been somebody downstairs. Um, hmm. Wipes sweat from forehead. Ooh. All right, we'll take. Thank you. Finally, something to loot. <laughs> I mean, there might be more. It's just uh, there's people in the rooms and they, they're they angry gangsters. I don't want to get shot. Although I wonder, could you like, I do wonder how much you could just go in and kill everybody. Like if you walked into New Reno and were super like overpowered with your power armor and your laser pistols and everything, like, could you just kill them all? And win the game that way. <laughs> Take over new Reno, be the new boss. Hello, sir. Better be careful around these parts or you'll be bound for Golgotha. Yeah, that sounds like they crucify people. And that, that seems um pretty horrible. Hi. I ain't got time for you right now. That's, that's okay. Ooh, there's another one. 
No one's got time for me right now. Oh no, Vic. Get. These are all quite, quite rude. But then they're gangsters. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. What is that? Packed of marked cards. Ooh, we'll take those. Maybe it'll come in handy. Are you sick, Big Jesus? Mordinos ain't got no friends except Mordinos blow puta. Thanks, you guys are so lovely. All right, let's head in here before I wrap for today and talk to Big Jesus. The man turns to face you. He looks sick with fever. Sweat trickles down his face and stains his clothes. He's staring at you. It looks like he's waiting for you to speak. Hi, who are you? The man speaks in a raspy voice. I am Jesus Mordino. You will address me as Senor Modino. A bead of sweat trickles down his forehead. What is your business with me? I'm looking for work. Is the heat bothering you? You see, yeah, you seem uncomfortable, sir. The temperature does not agree with me. My breathing is sometimes difficult. In times of stress or other physical activity, I tire quickly. Sometimes I have chest pains. Really? Well, it's good that you don't take any methamphetamines or stimulants, then. I had some other questions. Mordino waits as you watch another bead of sweat trickles down the side of his face. I I'm looking for work? Studies you for a long time, then shakes his head. You are a woman. What I need done is not women's work. Give me a chance. Give me a job, any job. I don't want to be say any job. I can do it. Give me a chance, Senor Mordino. Give me a job, any job. I can do it. Um, second one, maybe. Mordino studies you very well. I have work for you. Take, takes a deep wheezing breath, wipes sweat from his forehead. This package to the stables north of Reno. Give it to a man, Ramirez, then return. Okay, sounds easy enough. I will go there now, Senor Modino. Mordino. I keep saying his name wrong. What's in the package? Um, no, let's be polite. Gangster guy, let's be polite. Politeness usually gets us far, <laughs> even with evil people. Head north up Virgin Street, past the casinos, follow the trail that leads outside of town. You will come to the stables. Now go. Can we barter? We can't barter. Follow his directions. Oh, I'm I'm here already. Oh, jeez. I hate it when the game does that. <laughs> it, it, it's very discombobulating. Okay, I've come to the stables. A new chain link fence surrounds the two farm section entrances. Mardino's men. Okay, so I need to go probably, I'm guessing, in there. Then there's this whole section over here as well. Huh. Wish these slaves would. Oh, slavery. We gotta fix all that. Is going on? A drugged slave? Me bad, me good, me bad, me good. A scientist, if you have any suggestions, please write it on a piece of paper and put it right there in the trash bin. <laughs> My eyes are big back, big black flies. You are so stoned, my friend. Ramirez. Who's Ramirez? Hello, Ramirez. Looks up as you approach, sneers. You looking for trouble, Chica? You you Ramirez? Big Jesus gave me this package to give to you. Uh, oh, hang on, no, no trouble. I'll be going, hang on. Did I actually have a quest? New Reno. Deliver Big Jesus's package to Ramirez at the stables. Uh, I wanna poke around some more first. In case they make me leave right away. Double plus good. Are you authorized to be in here? I mean, I don't know. Are these slaves topless? I hope not. That's... No, I see. They've got... I see them closed now. Oh my gosh, this is so horrible. 
sickly slaves over here. And then you've got drug slaves over here. Um, are we gonna save and rob these guys? Yeah, they're criminals. They shouldn't mind, right? Oh, look, <gasps> they minded. They minded. Let's try that again. He mined it again. I wonder if it's worth it to put money in money, to put points into my steel. I wonder if it's worth it. The ability to make the things of others your own can be used to steal from people or places. I kind of want to do it, but I'm a little hesitant because what if I need my points later? Or something else? Because I feel like there might be an opportunity for energy weapons coming up soon. But anyway, I'm going to pause here today. <laughs> so in tomorrow's video, I will probably talk to Ramirez, explore around this farm area, the stables. Isn't this where the guy who makes jet is supposed to be at? But I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what kind of trouble I can get into like normal. <laughs> but as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Fallout 2 video.